Hey, all lads and lasses, Damfire here, and we've got something new again. So, we are looking at Starbase, uh, which is a MMO voxel based RPG survival sort of game. Um, is probably the best way I can describe that. Um, so, it's voxel based, kind of like Space Engineers and that kind of stuff. If you've ever played that on Minecraft, uh, I know a lot of people will know, know uh, Minecraft where you mine away, get the resources, build stuff. So um, I have quite a love for these type of games. I've got thousands of hours in Space Engineers and um, other games similar to that. Um, this one's been built as an MMO from the ground up, which means it's got just um, better features for large amount of player base and that kind of thing. And it's um, it should work better. In Space Engineers, yes, you can have like 20, 30 people on servers, but in my experience, it doesn't work out too well uh, as soon as some people build, you know, a couple of big ships and that kind of thing, or big bases, even with like block limits and stuff in place, uh, stuff starts crashing and dying and servers have to go rolled back and you lose progress and it's an absolute nightmare. I believe they are working on that, but anyway, this isn't Space Engineers, this is Starbase, and it's been built from the ground up as an MMO, so it should work better. So, you are joining me just after the tutorial. Um, definitely make sure that you go through that tutorial. It gives you uh, a ship, which uh, I'm flying around now, and I've actually added some extra storage onto this uh, ship and some extra thrusters. Um, but yeah, uh, the station is back there. I've started an Origin 30, because it seemed like the newest one, and uh, that makes sense for me, because I'm starting out. I don't want to go into some high PvP zone and get myself blown up in my new shiny ship. Uh, but yeah, so we are on our way. This giant blue ring, which is a planet ring, is uh, full of asteroids. So we're on our way to go do some uh, mining and grinding and grabbing some more resources so we can upgrade this ship a little bit. So, because uh, I know it's quite a long flight, I decided this would be a good point for you to sort of I'll start the recording up and join me uh, so I can explain some stuff as we go. So uh, the basic premise of the game is, uh, yeah, same as Minecraft and any other game of this type, is to uh, mine your way up, get some resources, um, and uh, just enjoy the creativity that can be had with uh, building your own ships. Apparently you can build your own stations and stuff too, which I'd uh, expect is uh, quite an undertaking and you'll need several people to help you with that. But there is a uh, corporation system, a company system they call it. So what I might do is if there are several of you that want to play with me, uh, I'll set up a corporation, we'll be the Cyber Combine as uh, per, per usual, and you guys can join in and we'll do some like big ship designs and stuff like that and I'll show them off on the channel. Because um, yeah, I'm not sure where the, the gameplay lies, if it's in... I, from what I've heard, I don't think there's any PvE at the moment, it's PvP. So you can get weapons on your ships and stuff like that. There is a uh, research tree here, and if we come look and uh, over this, I think if I hover over it, yeah, tripod auto cannons and uh, whatever that is, and mounted laser cannons. So there's definitely some fun stuff to be had. The research tree is it's got quite a lot in it. This game's early access and. Um, I think it's early access is an alpha state as well and i've not had a crash yet it's been running really well on my pc i've had very few frame drops or anything like that like i mentioned i've had no crashes yet and uh there is a lot of stuff to be had especially from uh, the look of the building element stuff um there's even personal weaponry here so i don't know how that works maybe on you can take over enemy stations and stuff so uh, it'd be interesting to see where this definitely goes. I don't know how much content there is for me to currently record, but I'll definitely show off a bit of uh, shipbuilding and um, any tips and tricks that I can pick up on the way. Um, I have noticed something. If you are starting this game, you press U to bring up this little um, menu thing, which tells you stuff as you're looking around. Uh, if you press tab, uh, yeah, tab, you get your mouse up. This is for PC, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure if there is a controller set up, but I tend to play most games uh, like this. Yeah. Apparently, if I bring up 
you on data, I can change like all sorts of crazy things. Uh, if I've randomly got like a weird bar around me now for some reason. Not entirely sure what's going on there. Yeah, so uh, button on state value. If you've just started the game, apparently setting this to 23 is a good idea. It means you won't burn as much fuel and honestly like the the ship they give you even though it's only got like this this ship's only got two thrusters on at base just seems to drain your fuel in seconds and i was having issues of um losing my ship in the middle of nowhere and then having to go do manual labor jobs to like quite literally i went and mined on an asteroid like uh, in the tutorial for like an hour just so i could afford to get this thing towed back to station for me uh we well, yeah so yeah, don't do that. Be smart and do that button thing that I just said, which is U on the generator, tab to get your mouse up, button on state value, 23. Uh, and that's just enough to charge the generator uh, while keeping the thrusters and everything running, and you don't seem to need more than that. I thought I saw... Uh, yeah, no, uh, there is asteroids off that way. So, asteroids, I believe, are around 20, 30 kilometers away from um, the station. And the further you go out, the rarer the resources as well. After 50 kilometers, I believe you're outside of what's known as the safe zone. And the safe zone is the uh, non-PVP art. So... We will check that out at some point. We'll maybe make like a little fighter or something and go uh, harass some other players because uh, why not? That's in the game and I don't think there's much else to the game at the current moment. I do love shipbuilding, so I will be doing a lot of offline play of this, I think, and not recording because I believe the grind is going to be um, a big one to say the least. So... Uh, yeah, if you want to come play with me, I'll be playing this a fair bit, I think, and uh, you can come join me in my escapades and uh, stuff like that, and I will plan some uh, videos to record. But yeah, so we'll be right back when we get over to the asteroids, and we'll go find some shiny uh, ores. So, been mining away, I have filled up my inventory on the ship uh, even managed to find some nergite which I've not heard of before uh, so I'm going to bring a bit of that back with me um, it's interesting because I've yeah I've done a few mining trips now and not heard of nergite so I'm not sure what that's used in uh, we are out of fuel so I do need to quickly change my fuel rod uh, which means I'm down to my last fuel rod so I am going to have to work out how to fill these or if I need to just Try to build new ones. So, using E, take uh, one out. If you press C while you've got it, it'll uh, snap to location. And then it won't let me put it in for whatever reason. There we go. And we'll take this one. Uh, let's get this straighter yeah, like that. And. Whack this back into my ship. And we are good to go again. Yep. Full chamber is back full. But yeah. Definitely gotta find out what that is. I'm blatantly just gonna fly into it, my ship's gonna explode. But at least I know it's bad. Oh, 24 kilometers back to origin. Oh, this shit, why are you going all funky? Cruise control on. We're all set to... Are you just a bit drifty now because you're heavy? Maybe it's a bit drifty because it's heavy. There is some degree of sort of drift on spaceships I've noticed not to like the level of uh, like Newtonian physics and that kind of stuff where you know if you turn off thrusters and stuff you just keep flying forever um, unless there is something I don't know about that you can turn thrusters off and I'm burning fuel 
you know, doing nothing because I can just accelerate up to speed and then turn my thrusters off. But, um, yeah, I don't think it's to that level. Like it is in, um, I think even Space Engineers, you can just turn your thrusters off at a certain point and you just cruise the rest of the way. Um, really dangerous for certain, I know you can. Um, yeah, we'll get back to the station and... Um, Get a bit more stuff put on this ship, I think, and uh, see where we are with research. I, I have done a bit more research. Um, I picked up the uh, extension and adapter modules. I think I picked up the control tables. It would be nice if these were a bit more visually confirmed, as it were. Like maybe if the the, the line do go into it, it's green, and then you know this is green. It got a green sort of ring around it. It's got a green thing around it, a green board around it. So you know which ones you've already done. Cause I swear I clicked on that one to uh, research it. I mean, it's got no cost, so I'm guessing it, it does mean I've researched it. So, uh, cockpit modules next. Looks like I need the tier one generators anyway because it's highlighting in red. Um, so yeah, I might need to, you, you might need all three of these to be able to go onto this one, which is fine. And then uh, we'll get the mining stuff unlocked and uh, go from there. What we plan on doing. Definitely do want to see if I can build my own ship and see how that works and We'll get my head around the mechanics of uh, all of that stuff. Anyway, yeah, save you the 20 kilometer flight back in cruise control and uh, we'll see you back at station. So here we are, we are back it, at the station. Um, I've flown straight into the easy build thing because I want to get some more thrusters on this because it, it's slow. I, I need something faster. So, um, Crafting, uh, we're crafting a couple of these L-shaped T1 box thrusters with extra hard points because I, I think that's what's currently on there. I've put these ones on before and I had to build the hard points separately. But I'm pretty certain it is these that I, I need. Uh, so we are crafting a couple more of these up. I might even do uh, an extra two. Uh, so what happens here is these give us... Um, if you see the little red box and the lightning bolt and the, the purple cog, they're points that you need uh, where when you're crafting. They give you the points that you need to be able to uh, research stuff, for example, um, unlock the cockpit mode. Um, what I'm going to be doing here uh, is I've kind of rushed straight down the middle and I want to get these uh, material point scanner uh, ore collector. And I think this is a mining laser that I can attach to the ship which means I don't have to undock and I can hopefully mine a little bit more efficiently and um, that sort of stuff. And then, yeah, there, there, there's some cool stuff down here. So probably probably going down here. Tractor beams, so you can bring whole asteroids back with you. And there's a like a special grindy area that you can just dump asteroids into for uh, money. So, um, yeah, I'm going to rush down this way. If I need to grab the generators, there's tier one generators here because the lasers need more or something. I, I will have to uh, grab these at some point. Uh, I could probably do with getting these fuel rods because I haven't worked out a way to refill the fuel rods, oddly. Um, I've found a way to refill the propellant, but not the fuel rods. So uh, we will look into that. By the way, uh, crafting is pretty simple. Once crafted, your items will be here. You drag them down into your um, hotbar. You can fly up here and select it. And yeah, mouse wheel to rotate. I don't want it. Uh, y axis. No, X axis, Z axis. X axis. Yeah, I want to put them on the end like that. I think that'll look cooler, right? I will build a uh, vehicle from complete scratch at some point, I think. Um, do these need connected in some way? That's that's something else that I'm not sure of. So in um in space engineers and stuff, do you need certain things connected like they they have like fuel lines and stuff running between them i'm not sure if these do or not i can't see anything connected to the original uh yeah the the original thrusters here 
It doesn't seem to be anything uh, anyway, so I think I can get away with it. Like it is now. Definitely, uh... Definitely got some thrust on here now. Let's see how she does. So to exit the build menu, um, press the full stop button. Again, this is all stuff that you'll learn in the uh, tutorial and definitely go through it. Otherwise, you'd probably be lost. It's a bit of a doozy. Yeah, I need uh, more resources because I need to build more stuff uh, so I can get more research done. And once I think I've got the cockpits and the mining lasers, and um, I've got all the basic bits, I think at that point I will design my own ship. And maybe we'll check out the other designer, not the easy build mode one that we just did, but we'll check out the main designer. So yeah, I back out to the mining uh, asteroids and we'll get a bit of mining done and bring some more resources back. Yeah, I've got cruise control. Definitely need to unlock some of these things, right? Cruise control. I don't want to hold shift all the way down there. I guess I could leave something on the shift button and do that. Also, if anyone knows how to rebind the keys or uses a HOTAS for this game, do let me know if it works, because I do have a HOTAS and I would much rather play with one. Um, I've played a lot of Elite Dangerous and yeah, I pretty much only play that with Hotas. So, uh, yeah, definitely... Definitely let me know if it's uh, possible. I haven't looked online if you can rebind controls to even, like, the mouse for pitch and yaw instead of just uh, looking around, but uh, definitely check that out. Right. Catch you back over in the mining, I guess. See you in a bit. Into the mining area. As you can see, there is uh, some of the ships around. I don't know if these are derelicts or not i do want to know what that is it looks like some kind of wormhole or something like that it'd be interesting to see a little tip while mining as well that i found out is if you fly close enough turn my uh use control off there if you open up your uh arm pdf thing uh hit tab and go to material if you fly close to close enough to the um Asteroid, you can tell uh, what materials it has, which is uh, quite useful. Ice and Vocarium. Uh, I believe I actually need Vocarium, so I'm going to get out the ship and grab that. But yeah, need to hook myself up to my ship, and there's the Vocarium. Put him away. And get smacking. I don't need any ice. Um, I've got loads. I want to say ice is used for fuel, but I don't know how you convert that at all. Um, I need to look into that, I think. Instead of having to buy fuel all the time, doing manual labor jobs to fill up my ship. Uh, what we got down here? Uh, red. Starting to learn the um, ores a little bit now, which is kind of cool. Agitite and Chirodium, uh, which we need all of. Very nice. Makes it nice and simple. You will get all of it. So my plan here, I've gone through the tech tree, and I've gone through what you can craft. Uh... And the crafting bench here gives the most amount of stuff for the resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to collect loads of these and a bit like you do in Elder Scrolls, um, just start crafting them like you do with iron knives and you build like a thousand iron knives to max out your mining. I'm going to do the same thing here or smelting even. And um, I, think, I think we'll do that. I think it looks more efficient that way. And then I'll be able to uh, at least get to a point where I can craft my own ship instead of using this, because, yeah, I'm not too much of a fan of that design at all. I wonder if I can recycle parts off it. That might be useful, at least. Uh, I have to work that out at some point as well. 
So we need both Agitite and Gerodium. Um, and something else. Uh, wrong one. Hi. Crafting. I'm sure there's a short button, a short key for that. Rocarium, Gerodium, Agitite, and Bastium. So yeah, we'll uh, mine away and we'll take all of this asteroid. I'm pretty certain like this one asteroid of Agitite would be probably enough for a, a little bit, but we'll uh, look around for more Gerodium. Uh, I do seem to be running out of a carrier more than most other things. Bastium seems to be used quite a fair bit as well. So I'll be trying to get hold of that uh, at the same time. But yeah, so Gerodium's red and it's normally surrounded by Agitite. And then I think the Bastium is usually surrounded by ice. And the Vicarium is surrounded by ice, so... Yeah, the, these are all the ores from... Um, I think it's 50 kilometers out from the, the station. But yeah, we're, we're 23, 20 to 30 or 50 kilometers. And uh, we can pick up all these kind of stuff that we currently need. Uh, and then we need to go further out for some of the uh, later stuff. But plenty of asteroids to be had. Um, I'm not sure how many people uh, are currently playing this, but it doesn't seem like too many, or it might just be the case that uh, the station I've picked has just a lower amount of people uh, within the area, and uh, if you go to Origin 1, for example, you, you might find uh, some more players there. What was that one? Valkite and Bastion. We don't need the Valkite, uh, but we do need the Bastion. The Bastion is gold. Bronzy gold? Actually, no, I think that's gold, right? Yeah, we've got it all. What else do we need? Find. Last piece to the puzzle is. Oh no, we've picked everything, right? We need to swap out my fuel shortly, though. Uh, we are getting low. The um, starter ship spawns with some extra fuel at the back. You can see I've emptied one already. That one's full at least. I think I've got a full one on the other side. Oh, I'm empty on both of those as well. So, yeah, I, I will have to look at how to refuel the fuel rods sooner rather than later if it's just a, a case of crafting them. I did go ahead and decide... Um, I will get the fuel rods, the ability to make them. Because I have a feeling that I might need to make them and you can't refill them. Uh, is that all of the... Yeah, I don't want the ice. Uh, so, let's see. I've got quite a bit of storage on here, which is quite nice. Uh, the ice can go... I think this can go as well. Volcarium. Do I need Volcarium? Yeah, I need Volcarium. It's Volkite I don't need. And I got loads of ice back at base because uh, not knowing what I was doing, I decided to mine all of an asteroid when I uh, first got here. I wonder if I can scrap this ship up here. That'd give me some cool stuff, right? Let's find out. It's a starter ship, but it's had some bits added to it. Uh, kind of cool. Get the, the grinder out. I don't know if I can do this or not. It'll be interesting to see. Looks like a new... Yeah, pretty certain that's a no. So there is pipes and stuff like that and cables, and uh, yeah, they do attach somehow, so I'm going to have to work that out, which is uh, it's cool. It does mean designing ships is a bit more complicated, and uh, it can get awkward at times, but um, I've got to wrap my head around it. I mean, I can play Space Engineers fairly well, so or I can play this. Except 
Uh, I don't like the movement too much. Okay. Is that not my ship? Maybe that is not my ship. That is my ship. Let's see. On the roid. I seem to be playing a lot of games with asteroids in it recently. <laughs> Even Macquarie 5 has like some planets where you can see the asteroids like flying about. So yeah, to save you uh, too much time uh, having to watch me just sit here and mining away, uh, we'll be back when I get back to the station and do some more interesting things. So we are coming back into the station. A bit to talk about here, but I'll leave some of that for the next video, I think. Um, yeah, we're going to go dock back into the easy build hall. As you can see, now fully loaded, this thing is extensively show, and it's definitely drifting with the weight. Um, it's interesting, because then there is some kind of... Maybe not gravity, but uh, definitely like thrust-related to weight and stuff in the game. So that's going to be interesting to learn. Um, but yeah, I am definitely enjoying the game. It's very chilled, very relaxed at the current moment. Again, I haven't got into the PvP stuff, so God knows what that's going to be like. Uh, hopefully not toxic, but you never know with online games. Um, I'd kind of like to hope that the Call of Duty players aren't smart enough to play this one, so it might be all right there. Just insulted like everybody that's subscribed to me. Um, so yeah, uh, not too bad. So we we got a good haul. So let's actually. Oh, can you not move stuff from? Uh, do I need to be in the seat to move stuff? Can I get in the seat when I'm in build mode. Can I attach to this while I'm build mode. No. Okay. So let's exit build mode. Get into the seat. Uh, I. Oh, where'd all my stuff go? Oh, I'm not in there. Oh, is it because I'm not connected to the thing? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I think we need to pull everything into the station. I don't know if there's a limit on how much stuff you can put into the station. I guess we'll find out because I've got a lot of stuff in there already and I'm putting even more. That's the limit, right? No, no, okay. I have. I can't put any more ice in, interestingly, so maybe there's a limit per ore. Uh, it seems odd to me. Can't put any more agitite in. That'll be fine. I'll probably use up an absolute shed ton shortly anyway. Well, I'm hoping. But that is everything that we can get in currently. Oh no, I could get that in. I'll get that in. I'll get that in. I'll get that in. Oh. Cool. So let's go down to the crafting bench down here. Uh, crafting. We can build two crafting benches, uh, which I will do. Um, station module. No, oh, where's um, ship parts? Ship modules? Talents, power. Ah, here we go. So here I can craft tier one generator fuel rod full. I'm guessing that's empty. Need Nergite for the fuel rods. Is this stores raw Nergite fuel and distributes it to the fuel chamber? It needs to be placed inside the fuel chamber, compatible only with tier one generators. Interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna have to Google that because I can't quite work that one out. Straight away. I mean, I'm sure I could play around with it, but uh, yeah. 
So we've got the rest of that crafting. Uh, this should give us uh, enough to hopefully unlock the generators and then the cockpits and then maybe only a couple more trips for the mining lasers and ore collectors. And that will be in the next episode. I think next episode, I'll uh, off camera, I'll go grind out a bunch of stuff and yeah, get that all into the base and yeah i think we'll build a ship from scratch um specifically for mining with the the mining tools and stuff like that and that'll be in the next episode so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this one uh sort of a first impressions first look at um starbase and uh, a couple of little tips there for anyone just starting out as well so have a good one guys and i'll catch you next time